so I just got home and my head hurts it's that time of the month so my head hurts I didn't go work out today but one thing I need to do is some stretching because I suck at stretching like I will get to the gym and immediately start my workout and not stretch so right now I'm going to do a little bit of stretching let's get to it Ryan Little. <laughs> I am about to cook right now. That's my rice cooker going off. I've already told you guys how much I love my rice cooker. I want to make a burrito bowl. So we are using some ground turkey here. This is what I use to cook with usually right here. Do you ever know you don't have something and you continuously look for it like you do? That's me. ready to eat so this meat is going to be cooked on high okay So this is the next day and I wanted to do a quick voice over for this part. I just wanted to showcase one of my workouts here. I'm doing a HIIT workout, which I just made up on my own. I want to just showcase that thick girls workout too, okay? It's nothing wrong with being thick and being active just because you're larger or thicker does not mean that you aren't fit and it doesn't mean that you aren't healthy. And this was a really good workout. I think this took me about 20 minutes and just some background i was a division one collegiate athlete so if this becomes difficult for you please make sure that you take breaks and listen to your body so from this vlog on i will be showcasing my workouts so
So if you're interested in a healthy, thick girl lifestyle, then please make sure to subscribe. just left the gym I'm so sweaty I'm so sweaty because I went into the sauna today and I've been going to the sauna well I went twice this week so I'm definitely going to incorporate that into my weekly workout routine because it just makes me feel so good I get such a good sweat in and the reason why I started using the sauna this week is because I'm trying to like take it a little bit easy. So I am doing upper body and really not doing too much leg work as in squats, lunges, leg press, things like that. I'm trying to limit the usage of my kneecaps, okay? Because I did a May challenge with Q2 Health. She's on Instagram. I'll put her IG name up here. She is absolutely amazing. And her May challenge was definitely leg focused and I've had injuries in my right knee in the past you know being an athlete and all that good stuff of course you're going to get injured and have injuries and have wear and tear and so my knees are definitely those areas based on the sports that I played and so yeah I cannot overwork my knees too much or my legs too much but I love legs I love lower body but I cannot overwork it i cannot do a lot of lower leg workouts in a row so now my knees have had it and i'm horrible at stretching i'm horrible at icing so i'm not helping the situation okay get any better I'm doing the sauna, i'm doing the sauna to kind of increase my cardio and my sweat and then i'm definitely doing upper body okay upper body is something that i'm focusing on more rather than my legs right now so yeah but right now i am about to go get me a protein shake from this place called elite nutrition and i know that i have the true supplement powder at home but i'm like i don't feel like making that so yeah my husband actually works close to the gym and i'm trying to see if he wants something but you know he takes too long <laughs> so he didn't get nothing today because i need to go home you know what i'm saying and get the weekend going okay Thank you. 